Our second recipient of this year's Distinguished Alumni Award is Dr. Maurice Daniels. Daniels is Dean and Professor in the School of Social Work at the University of Georgia. He is Founder and Director of the Foot Soldiers Project for Civil Rights Studies and Research. He is the author of Saving the Soul of Georgia, Donald L. Hollowell, and the Struggle for Civil Rights, and Horace T. Ward, Desegregation of the University of Georgia, Civil Rights Advocacy, and Jurisprudence. Daniels is Senior Researcher and Executive Producer of a number of civil rights documentary films. He is the author of various scholarly articles and conference papers focusing on civil rights and social justice, honored by his colleagues repeatedly for his achievement and service. In 2001, he was selected for the African American History and Social Justice Award by the Athens Clark County NAACP. In 2004, the State of Indiana 113th General Assembly adopted House Resolution Number 74, which recognized Daniels' accomplishments, quote, accomplishments in the areas of civil and human rights and social justice. The same year, he received the Outstanding Research Award from the UGA School of Social Work, and in 2007, he was a recipient of the UGA President's Fulfilling the Dream Award. In 2010, Phi Kappa Phi honored him with the Law of Learning Award. Prior to becoming Dean, Daniel served as Associate Dean, Director of the Masters of Social Work Program, and Director of the Patricia Robert Harris Fellowship Program at the University of Georgia. Daniel holds a bachelor's degree in psychology, a master's degree in social work, and a doctorate in higher education administration from Indiana University. In addition to his scholarship work, to scholarly work, he is active in civil rights and social reform organizations. He is co-founder of the Athens Arena Area, the Athens Area Habitat for Humanity co-founder of the University of Georgia Black Faculty and Staff Organization, and a life member of the NAACP and the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. Maurice, we have spent your you, have, you have spent your life advancing the cause of social justice and civil rights. It is my honor to recognize you as a distinguished alumnus of the School of Education. Maurice. Thank you, uh, Dean Gonzalez, for your very uh, kind remarks uh, to uh, the dean, uh, to faculty, staff, uh, and students, uh, to Dr. Williams and the Alumni Association board members, uh, friends, uh, and guests. Uh, I am overwhelmed and uh, deeply honored uh, by this award. I had an opportunity to earn three degrees from Indiana University, and I was fortunate to develop a number of friendships. My rich and fulfilling experiences, both as an undergraduate and graduate student at Indiana University, literally helped to shape my life and my career. First, I'd like to thank Paul Klinge, who served as a special assistant to several Indiana University presidents, including President Herman Wells. Mr. Klinge reached out to me and my brother Eddie, who is also a graduate of Indiana University many years ago, and made it possible for the two of us to be able to attend Indiana University. During my days as an undergraduate student here, I'm especially thankful for the mentorship and guidance of Dr. Jim Holland. I'm also appreciative of the inspiration of Chancellor Herman Hudson, Dr. Winona Fletcher, Dr. Portia Mosby, who is here this evening, Dr. Joseph Russell, 
and many others. My thanks also for the friendship and support of my fraternity brothers while I was a student here with the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity. I attended Indiana University as an undergraduate in the late 1960s and early 1970s, a time of radical social change in our nation. Students and faculty at Indiana during those times were actively engaged in protests related to end of the war in Vietnam, civil rights, women rights, and many other social causes. I was encouraged in part to pursue my career in social justice by the strong commitment to this cause. I was especially inspired by student leaders at Indiana University at that time, such as Clarence Rollo Turner. Finally, my thanks to the School of Education, and especially the Department of Higher Education. And I would like to mention uh, Dr. August Eberle, who was my major advisor on my dissertation and Dr. Robert Schaefer, who was chair of the Department of Higher Education at that time. And they carefully uh, tutored me and guided me, and I think it would be fair to say admonished me <laughs> on many occasions as I pursued my graduate uh, degree. The lessons that they taught me continue to be very vital in my work in higher education administration today. In closing, I'd like to recognize my wife, uh, Renee, and my daughter, Corinne, who traveled uh, with me from Georgia. I'd also like to acknowledge my other daughters. I guess I should say our other daughters. My wife had a little bit to do with it. Uh, um, uh, Nicole, uh, Mai, and Lauren, and other family members uh, who could not be here but are with me uh, here in spirit this evening. Thank you very kindly. I'm deeply honored. <laughs>